Hey, I'm Megan, and if you are decorating on a budget or Dollar Tree DIYs just tickle your fancy, well, this video is for you, my friend, because that's exactly what I have to share with you. Budget-friendly Dollar Tree DIYs. For the first DIY, using this decorative cake tray from Dollar Tree, it was in the catering party section, and I was in love with the scallop bottom. And then a Dollar Tree candle holder, Trace out where you want your candle holder to go, and I'm using this super glue gel. It is not as messy as regular super glue. It doesn't smell as bad as E6000, and it dries really fast with a great hold. I also used hot glue to help reinforce it, but you can totally use E6000, whatever your heart desires. Modern Mist in Rust-Oleum spray paint. I love this color. It's about $4 at Walmart. One coat didn't give me quite full coverage, and then I was heartbroken because I messed up and I sprayed too close, too thick, and I got like a crinkle effect on some parts of the tray. But duly noted, I will be more careful next time. Now, three of these glass jars with the same like metal tin lid. Taking something pointy, not poking a hole, but poking a indention in the top of the lid. Taking some more of the super glue gel and marbles Dollar Tree sells marbles, but I have a lot like laying around my house. The smallest dab of glue, like not even a pea size, and place your marble and then a little indention. 10 minutes later, spray painted it, two coats, no crackle effect. I did a good job this time. And I'm filling my jars up with candy. I want it red candy. I don't know, this gives me like a diner feel. I love these colors together but you can fill your jars up with whatever. I also got some little red straws and then just placed it on my tray evenly. So if I wanted to lift up one jar at a time, my tray wouldn't tumble over. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Hopefully you can see what I was talking about. And like I said, I think this is super cute. I love the red, the white, and the modern mint together. Obviously I'm putting this in my kitchen, but I also think this would be super cute for a bathroom if you wanted to put like some q-tips or cotton balls toothbrushes whatever it may be this little cake stand and these jars are super cute together next taking this little glass jar from dollar tree using modern mint once again spraying only the bottom and this only took one coat of spray paint to get full coverage nutmeg brown acrylic paint and painting around like the rim and the ridges then immediately after wiping it away and I did this all over my little jar until it'll look about like this you can do as much or as little as you like now my fail from my last DIY with spray painting gave me an idea so I got this clear gloss spray paint under four dollars again and I heavily spot sprayed that's a tongue twister the jar in just a few different areas this kind of reminds me of those aged ceramic glasses you see at hobby lobby gold spray paint from dollar general under three dollars spray paint the top then using nutmeg brown once again paint all over the top but then like dab it so you don't have any brush strokes using black and the nutmeg just mixed together. You do the same thing with the darker color. Once again, dabbing so you don't have any brush strokes. You could use a paper towel to do this too, by the way. And it'll look about like this, like aged stone or metal. Spray that with the clear gloss as well. Then these labels are from Dollar Tree. I've had them forever. I find it easiest when writing out or freehanding something. If you start with a middle letter and you do your vertical lines first, then go back and do your horizontal lines. Works out well enough for me. I saw this on Pinterest a long time ago. It was like life changing for writing out words. Black Sharpie traced it out, then stuck it onto my jar. And this cute little jar is totally done. Now, obviously I'm not putting honey in my jar. I'm going to use it to keep receipts. I keep receipts that I may or may not want to return or I just keep all receipts for the first month. And so that's what this jar will be. For the next DIY, using this canvas from the Dollar Tree, it's like a longer, hard, fake wood canvas, and Rust-Oleum chalk paint, two coats. This was really dark and like really shiny, so it did take two coats to get full coverage. 
white and black mixed together, paint the sides, and then I use that same color to go back and dry brush the rest of the board, but I focus on the edges and the sides. I did do a few strokes across. I did end up going back and using a darker gray on this, just a darker mixture of gray, but it was totally the same technique. Now I made this printout and as always, when I make a printout, I link it for you for free in the description. And I also linked one in color. I originally planned on printing mine out in color, but something's wrong with my printer. The yellow ink, even though it's not even halfway full is not working. So whatever, I'm improvising. Now the cool thing about this canvas is it's just as long as regular printer paper. So all you have to do is cut off the edges. Mod Podge and put a generous amount all over your canvas. Then take a water bottle or whatever, spray your printout with water. I know this sounds crazy. I know it might be scary, but I promise you, this is the best way that I know of anyways, to get the wrinkles out of the paper. Then take a brush or your fingers and just smooth back and forth in the same direction to get all the bubbles out. Now, because I did want this in color, I'm just taking three colored pencils. And I'm gonna color in, I'm not really even coloring in the lines. This literally took me five minutes, just quickly swipe some color all over the sign. And then, because I couldn't find a black colored pencil, I just used a pen. And I actually really like the way this turns out. I mean, this looks pretty darn close to the color printout I originally intended on using. So if you do not have access to a color printer, you can still do this, my friend. I love this sign. It's cute because it can stand up by itself or you can put it on the wall. Totally summer beehive theme, which is so popular right now. Now, Diet Cherry 7-Up Empty 2-Liter Bottle. Not only is it tasty, it's only 79 cents. Cut off the top of the lid and then I use scissors to cut the middle because I found it was easier. You can use any two liter, but I know not everyone has two liters around their house. It's only 79 cents to get Diet Cherry 7-Up, like I said, which is amazing. Anyways, scrap piece of cardboard or foam board, use a cereal box if you have to. Just cut out the shape of the bottom with a little bit of hot glue, put your bottle down. Because the bottle plastic is so thin and flimsy, you need something to help it keep its shape. Dollar Tree rope a little bit of hot glue, and you're gonna glue each side on the inside of the bottle. So it makes like a little loop, or it, I like a, it looks like a roller coaster to me, anyways. Then you don't have to use a bunch of hot glue, just a little bit at the start. Start wrapping your rope all the way around the bottle. And I don't hot glue every single line. Like I only hot glued every three or four lines. And when you do add hot glue, try to add it to the rope like not directly on the bottle because like i said the plastic is very very flimsy i promise now i'm on my second piece of rope i just take a little piece of black duct tape stick it on the bottom and adding hot glue i'm going to continue wrapping until you get to the duct tape and you overlap the rope just a little bit over the duct tape hot glue, pick up where you left off and keep wrapping. That may not make sense, but I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. And I did that about four times. And then the fifth line of rope, you can just continue wrapping all the way around. When that is done, take the bottle cap, put it in the middle, and you're not going to be hot gluing to the cap. You're hot gluing the rope. We're just using the cap as an outline or a guide so we get a perfect circle. And I did it two times, just enough to cover up the frayed edges of the rope, cut it, hot glue it down, and then you can just easily pop the lid out as long as you don't hot glue to the lid. And if you do, I'm sure you could still pop it out. Now I had used the 9.5 feet of rope and I used about 20, a little bit over 20 feet of rope. So if you have the 13 feet, you only need two pieces. If you have the 9.5, you'll need a little bit over two pieces of rope to do this. I put this on a bird's nest I made for spring with some Dollar Tree florals. And I think this is super cute. I like this whole little vignette thing I got going on. Adorbs, I'm loving it. And I also like that the honey jar, if I change my mind, I can just easily rip the sticker off. I have this in my bedroom on a little stand. Very summer, very in. 
If you're down with Dollar Tree DIYs or you're decorating on a budget, you may enjoy these videos I have posted to the left or the right. You click on the little thumbnail and you can see what else I have going on. Thank you so much for watching.